explain the concept of momentum in gradient descent optimization and how does it help in training deep neural networks? Momentum in gradient descent optimization is inspired by the physical concept of momentum. It involves maintaining a moving average of past gradients and adding a fraction of this moving average to the current gradient during parameter updates. This momentum term helps smooth out oscillations and accelerates convergence by allowing the optimization algorithm to accumulate velocity in the direction of steepest descent. What is the impact of the learning rate schedule on the convergence of gradient descent optimization? The learning rate schedule, which determines how the learning rate changes over time during training, significantly influences the convergence of gradient descent optimization. In practice, learning rates are often annealed or decayed. Initially, a higher learning rate is used to allow the optimization to explore the parameter space more quickly. As training progresses, the learning rate is reduced, allowing the algorithm to converge more accurately to the optimal solution. What role does the choice of activation function play in gradient descent optimization, and why is ReLU a popular choice? The choice of activation function is crucial in gradient descent optimization, as it determines the non-linearities in the neural network. Activation functions like ReLU, rectified linear unit, have gained popularity because they are computationally efficient and mitigate the vanishing gradient problem. The vanishing gradient problem occurs when gradients become very small, causing slow convergence or stagnation in the training process, especially in deep networks. How does the condition number of the loss function's Hessian matrix impact the convergence behavior of optimization algorithms? The condition number of the Hessian matrix of the loss function represents the ratio of its largest to smallest eigenvalues. A high condition number indicates that the loss landscape is highly curved or elongated, making optimization challenging. In such cases, gradient descent may suffer from slow convergence or become ill-conditioned. On the other hand, a lower condition number suggests a well-conditioned loss landscape with a smoother curvature, facilitating faster convergence. Can you describe the advantages and disadvantages of using a high learning rate during gradient descent optimization? Using a high learning rate in gradient descent optimization has both advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, a high learning rate allows the algorithm to explore the parameter space quickly, which can be advantageous in the early stages of training, as it helps escape local minima and find regions with lower loss. It can lead to faster convergence and shorter training times. However, high learning rates come with challenges. They can cause the optimization to overshoot the minimum and lead to divergence, making it challenging to stabilize training. 